Did you doubt right. yourself a lot then, Tom? Did your brother play a massive part on helping you progress? Yeah, hundred percent. All I all through school, everything in my life, I doubted myself on. You know, like even kind of being a decent footballer as well. I was doubting myself. Like I didn't couldn't get to the next level. Wasn't uh, confident enough. In but then Luca was always at my side. You know, from day one, saying you know you can be the next big thing. And then again as well. But that was again. And then I had other athletes as well, like Eddie Hawson, you're going to be the next big thing. But then that got a lot of pressure on me, so I couldn't, like, drill in that pressure good. You know, I was like, oh, Tom's going to be the next big thing. I thought, yeah, I, I'm going to be the next big thing. And started getting lazy and not working hard, just to think, oh, you know, if Eddie Hall's saying that, that already, you know, it's, I must have made yeah. it, yeah. So then I kind of stopped working as hard and then was getting beat at competitions I should have won. And then I was like... I need to kind of get a kick up the arse here and actually, yeah. you know, train to be the best. So I hate labels, but you were is it diagnosed with like Asperger's. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I was diagnosed with Asperger's. What at age? A young age. I can't remember roughly. I think it was just when you were in the academy. You just... I think it was before. I think it was I, well uh, through primary school. I was getting tests, mm. but I think it was end of primary school, secondary. But that was a massive hurdle in my life. I mean, like look, going on a night out. Uh, I would be phoning, screaming, like, where are you not going out? I couldn't even go on a bus or, like, I went I went from Invergordon to Fern, which is a 10-minute bus uh, journey, and that was my first time doing that, I think, when I was 13, 14, and it was a massive, massive achievement. And, like, you know, for, the, for other people it's not, but for me it was. And to get past hurdles like that, I kind of, in school they never gave me a really big chance. I mean, some teachers said to me, you're never going to be, like, successful in life and you're never going to get a wife you're never going to move out your house and I was like it played on my mind for a long time I was like what am I going to do you know I don't have any grades in school I've left school fourth year working with my brother-in-law and just dropped out of that as well so then it was like when I said when I got to the gym I was like I need to do something in my life and I moved out my house my parents house got myself a girlfriend got married then started getting more successful in the sport and yeah having looked there to kind of Push me through it, like you know, being in the interviews. I could, like I said, I couldn't even I'd put my head down, going, <laughs> yeah. say yes or no, you know. And that was the hard part about strongman. Physically, I knew I was capable of doing stuff, and I knew I could do the lifting and stuff. But then the interviews before it, interviews after the fans, I was like, Jesus, not football. I didn't know you expect this to be in a strongman. So going from like a car park to fifteen thousand people, that just put me all wrong. You know, I just could not caught with that in my mind like I said I'd have to look there even after events Luke would have to come out and be like you know your brother did good and I would be like yeah so it's yeah. kind of stuff but yeah I mean I just want to get autism out there you know like yeah I've got a label but I'm not different than anybody else you know and I've proved I'm one of the strongest guys in the world getting successful Luke as well and building a profile that I'm proud of and like yeah. I want to I mean I've worked with a lot of people that were the same as me you know and I'm a big advocate for it and I, I love everything. Yeah, though. phenomenal, mate. I love that. That Even the teachers, I used to listen to a man called Les Brown and he says, people's opinion of you doesn't have to be a reality. Yeah, yeah. And for people telling you this and that, it shows you how strong a character you are. Now, labels, I know people who's got a great life from the outside, got all the money in the world that are committing suicide. You've been labelled with something but you've not let it stop you. You've kept pushing through and I don't know if it was Einstein that says it, but don't let um, your edu your your schooling get in the way of your education. Like yeah, everybody I'm sees the world differently, mm -hmm. and you're fucking second strongest man on the fucking oh that's planet Earth, which is a phenomenal <laughs> achievement. So I take my hat off to you, especially people watching this. They'll take inspiration that don't matter if you get labelled, you can do what the fuck you want. 100%. You can make changes. You can kick on. You mm -hmm. can strive to keep constantly betting yourself.